Brisbane mother Myth Ward was 26 weeks pregnant when she found out she was infected with the cytomegalovirus, or CMV. Further testing confirmed her unborn daughter had also caught the virus. It was terrifying, to be completely honest. Um, something that we'd never heard about that is, is so common. I think, you know, we started asking questions as to why we had not been told about it, why there's no prenatal conversations or warnings. Two-year-old Azaria was born with permanent hearing loss, a result of CMV. Researchers say half of Australians carry the virus. Most carriers will never develop symptoms. But if pregnant women become infected with CMV, that's when it becomes potentially dangerous. Apart from hearing loss, it can cause cerebral palsy and learning difficulties in babies. After Azaria was born, I went out and I I found other people just like us in the same boat that had never heard of CMV and now had a child that had been impacted by it. The Queensland Institute of Medical Research vaccine has been tested on animals. It uses breakthrough technology of harnessing both antibodies and killer T cells. You have now brought the two armies of the immune system into one formulation. Lead researcher Professor Rajiv Khanna says it would reduce the chance of mothers transmitting the virus to their babies. Researchers hope to conduct human trials within two years, and they're in discussion with industry partners to progress the vaccine. If successful, the vaccine will be given to adolescents, just like Gardasil. An Institute of Medicine in U.S. has identified CMV vaccine as one of the highest priority, and it will impact on not just a few thousand, but millions of people. Miss Ward says it will give other mothers hope. It's very exciting that no other families um, will have to go through what we've been through. Audrey Courti, ABC News, Brisbane.